Welcome to the Tiffany Micah podcast. What we do here is build the strength and courage in you to accomplish your big dreams and goals in your sport. No longer will you feel limited. You won't feel you're not good enough. You won't question whether you will make it. Those doubts will disappear because you will have the competitive edge over your opponents and leave them in your wake. And the bonus is others will notice. Listen up and take notes because I will show you exactly how to do it. Hey there, this is Tiff from Tiffany Micah Podcast and welcome to this week's lessons learned. Now this is a really interesting one. I've had quite a number of people come up and and talk to me about this one about do shortcuts really work? Because we all like shortcuts, don't we? Technology makes things so much easier than, than it has ever, hasn't it? Like if you're growing up now, you know, the opportunity that you have with technology is absolutely amazing. We didn't have that when we were growing up. You know, we didn't have mobile phones. Computers were just starting to come about, I think, late late high school. So when I was at uni, that's when, you know, computers were really coming to the fore. And mobile phones came later on. But the thing that I want you to be thinking about, when it, when it comes to competing in your sport, or when it comes to building yourself as a business, right? Because I'll remember, you're a professional, you're going to be thinking of yourself as a professional athlete. So therefore, you are also a business. Or when you're wanting to, you know, change your body shape, you know, there's a this huge industry in weight loss. There's a number of things that, that you actually need to be doing. And the thing is, is you've still got to do the work. So yeah, there's some shortcuts along the way and there's a ways in which you can do that. But you've still got to get out there and do the work. Because I hear all these, and I, and I see this quite a lot on online, is, you know, people have got these hacks, you know, to, 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 to do this or to shred, you know, body fat off your body and to... Um, you know, focus better and, you know, all these things that you could do in order to really uh, help you, you know, get there quicker, right? It's a shortcut. And and there are shortcuts in, in ways in which you can do things because the shortcuts are really from those people that have actually been there and done that before you. So they're, there, they're, they're actually there showing you the way. They're showing you the path because they've actually learnt through trial and error. So yes, there's shortcuts, but it's still a process. It's still a path. So my book, for example, Focus, How to Reach Your Potential in Sport, Business and Life, I show you the path, but it's been trial and error from my path. I had to figure out what worked and what didn't. And these lessons that I've learned through sport of what I've applied in this book is designed to help you get there quicker, right? Knowing the steps. So that there are shortcuts, right? But there's no substitute for really for hard work because you still got to do the work. And, and, and I'm going to share some examples why I say this to you. So, Weight loss is a huge example, okay? It's a multi-billion dollar industry. But if you look at it in simple terms, if you overeat and you eat the wrong foods, well, your body's not going to recognize those foods, are they? And what happens? You put weight on, right? You overload your body with, with foods that your body just can't cope with. That's where the weight comes from. And it's easy to just keep piling the food in your mouth, isn't it? It's easy to eat all the foods, right? We love sugar. Our bodies crave it. 
There's lots of foods that we crave because we enjoy them, right? Some people like salty foods. I'm a, I'm a sweet person. I like sweet foods. I like both actually, but I prefer sweet foods. But to, to lose weight, if you really want to lose weight and you've put on all this weight, you have to make an effort, right? So there's simple things, right? So you have to be aware of what you actually eat. You have to be aware not to overload your body. You have to know how to manage the cravings. And, it, and it's really up to you. It's your responsibility, but it's being aware, right? But you have to do the work. If you've put on the weight, then you have to get the weight off. It's the same with doing workouts, right? You go and do training, you go and train at the gym or you're just doing workouts to help lose weight, right? You've got to do the work. You can't get someone to do the push-ups for you. They're going to get the muscles, not you, right? So, so there are ways in which you can do things there's ways in which you can lose weight, right? Simple ways, easy ways. But you've still got to make the effort. And this is the thing I think that people really misunderstand is you still have to make the effort. You still have to put the time in. Here's another one, another example. Skills for your sport. Who's got to do the skills for the sport? If you want to be that professional athlete you want to be, you want to perform the way that you want to perform, you want to be incredibly focused, you know, you want to dominate in your sport. What have you got to do? You've got to take the lessons. You've got to go and learn the skills. You've got to go and do the practice. If you don't learn, if you don't go through that process, you will not improve. It doesn't happen. You've still got to do the work. Right, and I think this is where the misconception is in world today is that if you just, you know, I guess they're in, they're in body but not in mind as such and not actually realizing that it is a process that you need to go through. It is a cycle that you need to go through. Then you're not really going to get what you want. It's like, you know, when I talk about goal setting, there's a process in which you have to and what you have to do to get to where you want to go. And one of the ladies I was teaching golf to yesterday, she said, she came up to me and she said, Tiff, there's really no shortcut to learning this game, is there? And I said, well, actually, no, there's not. And then I said, well, actually, yes, there is, because I said, I've been there before you. You haven't had to learn and go through the process that I had to go through and try to figure a lot of stuff out through the coaches that I had in the past. Because I wish that I had a coach like me who taught me how to do it because, I, you know, my how I operate is I break everything down into little chunks so I can understand it better and then rebuild it into more simple forms. So I said, you've actually got the shortcuts from me. But I said, yeah, you've still got to do the work. You've still got to go through the process. You've still got to learn the skills. You've still got to put the time into it. You've still got to put the effort into it. You've still got to get out on the golf course and, and, and try and implement everything that you're learning. right? And that's the same for you. The same in your skills in your sport. You've got to do the practice. You've got to learn the skills. You've got to go and put yourself out there in, in competition. And work out how to manage yourself through that and get help how to do that. Number three, here's another one, focusing. There's so many times I hear people say, you've got to concentrate or you've got to focus. It's great to say it, but how do you focus if you don't know how? It's a skill. You've got to learn how to focus. You can't just push a button and go beep. Now I can focus. Now I'm going to be awesome out on the field today. You're not a robot. You've got to learn how to do these things. You've got to learn how to ignore distractions because you're going to get plenty of distractions. We all get them. You've got to learn how to be in the moment and every, at any given time when you're competing so you can focus better. You've got to learn how to control your emotions around your shots, your skills. 
You've got to ignore those thoughts that pop into your head randomly. You've got to learn how to control them or acknowledge that they've just been there and then let them just disappear. Because we all get these random thoughts that pop into our head. I know when I've stood over a golf ball and I've hit a ball and all of a sudden I've thought about something that, that happened 20 years ago and I'm like, where'd that come from? All right, a random thought just pops in. You gotta learn to let them go and not hold on to them. So these are just a few things to share with you, right? But the the message I want to get out to you, and I, I'm I'm just I'm just not sure if people get this. Because in in the world that we actually live in, everything happens so quickly and everybody wants everything yesterday and everyone's so impatient. But when you want what you want, when you want to accomplish these big goals, these big dreams in your sport, in your life, you have got to put the effort in. Effort out equals effort in, right? You put the effort out there. You get rewards back. You don't put the effort out there. You don't get the rewards back. Everything's like a bank account. You put money into your bank account. You accumulate money. Then you can withdraw on it when you need it. Right? Your effort bank. You've got to put the effort in so that when you need it, when you need it in competition, and I'm talking about everything that you need, right? The skills, the focus, everything that you need, right? The training, the learning, how to manage yourself when you're competing, everything. You have to put the effort in. You have to put it in that emotional bank. You have to put it in that effort bank. You have to learn everything. As you learn, you keep making those deposits so that when you need it, you can withdraw it. Bring it out when you need it. Okay, it's so, so important. So what's the point that I'm getting across to you today? What is the message I'm getting across to you today? Yes, shortcuts do work. Yes, there are shortcuts from those that have gone before you. Learn from them because they show you the way. But you still have to put the effort in. You still have to make the time. Because if you don't go through that process, you will not accomplish what you want in your life. You will not accomplish what you want in your sport. So I hope you can really understand that. So I hope you enjoyed today's lessons learned. I'd love it if you could share with me what you like best about what you heard. And as you know, I've launched my book, Focus, How to Reach Your Potential in Sport, Business and Life. $5 from every book sold will be donated to Food Bank throughout this month because I believe that no one should go to bed hungry. If you would also like to help support the cause, buy a book. Just go to tiffanymica.com forward slash food bank. I'd love to send you some books and I'd also love it if um, we can raise as much money as we can for Food Bank. So I want you to dream big, believe in you and go after your dreams. Have an absolutely awesome day and take care. Talk soon. Thanks for listening to today's episode. If you haven't yet downloaded the number one deadly mistake athletes make, make sure you go to tiffany-mica.com and download the number one deadly mistake athletes make. Share with me what you like best about what you heard in the comment section wherever you hear this episode. Share with your friends that you know that would benefit from these episodes and please leave a five-star review wherever you hear these episodes. I would really appreciate it. Dream big, believe in you, go after your dreams, have an absolutely awesome day. 